Hey guys, I'm Ben and welcome back to episode F Look at the rain! It's like, it's it's not even rain, it's like a mist rain. Wow. Alright, anyway, welcome back to episode 42 of Bucket Tutorials. And today we're going to be doing about when you hit someone and it gives them a potion effect. So it's kind of like the bleeding effect. Or say we have a poison dagger and, and, and it's raining a lot. Comment rain if it's raining where you are. We're going to do the same thing. Basically, we want to go into our listener, um, our, bu our bucket listener that we've set up about 30, 35 episodes ago. Um, so we just want to go into that place. That place is cool. Who doesn't like that place? So let's go in there. And my internet should go. Never mind. Um, go, in, go into there. And we're going to make a new at event handler. Um, now, this this uh, void. So we make a public void. A uh, pubic void public void um, and it, it's called on entity damage by entity event so in here we just put entity uh, and then do control space uh, a damage by entity event now you see you've got a uh, damage entity event uh, just source and source indirect but they are actually in Edward Minecraft um, by block events so you can get damage by things like gravel but we want the entity damage by entity event and nickname this event um, just name the variable so, we want to get the damager and the player. So, what we want to do is we want to do entity e equals event dot get entity, and that is the entity that has been hit. So, if we import entity actually from org dot bucket, um, not all these other ones, org dot bucket entity, and then we want entity damager equals event event dot get damager. So we're getting the damager and we're getting the entity who's done it. So if E, who is the person who's got hit, is an instance of a player. So if E is a player, so if the entity that's been hit is a player, basically, um, we want to cast E to a player. So player, player equals player E, like that. So now it doesn't matter what the damager is in this case. We just want it to be an entity, any type of entity at all that's been damaged. So, what we do is we do. Um, we don't even need this damager thing. I don't think we'll just comment it out um, so the compiler doesn't read it. Um, so never delete things, by the way. Uh, if it's a method you're not going to use anymore, just above it, just do at deprecated. And what this does is it deprecates. Um, Important deck friend. Basically, it deprecates your events. So people know not to use the event. Never just delete an event. Uh, void. Um, always deprecate it out or comment something out. Just so because if you do need it again, then oh sniff. Um, <laughs> then that's why. So we're getting the player that's been hit if they are a player. Um, we're getting the entity that's been hit, and if they're a player, then we're gonna cast them to a player. Now what we do is we do player dot add potion effect, so the same as last episode. So new potion effect type effect type um, uh, new potion effect, sorry, and then potion effect type dot um, blindness blindness uh, of five hundred one. So we're adding a potion effect to them, and then that that's it basically. So what else we can do in this method in this um event handler we can do the same thing we can we can just we basically you can do lots of stuff you can you can add things to the entity uh, you can you can cancel events so say we don't actually want it to hurt them we can do event dot set damage zero so it hasn't actually damaged them at all um, we can also set damage to say like twelve so it doesn't it does a lot more damage than it should or one so there's a lot less damage than it should twenty is a maximum one is half a heart so we just want it not to damage them at all. Um, so yeah, that's what happens there. Uh, so if we actually export this, we will be, if we actually just export this, uh, we'll be right back in the game. Alright guys, so we're back in the game, and this is big slime over here. Come on slime, hit me. This it hits me, and I'm not actually getting hurt, but I do have this blindness effect now. You see how my damage isn't actually going down at all? Um, yeah, so that's how that works. Uh, any tutorials you want me to do, send me a private message or post a comment in the description. I'll see you guys next time.